So finding a comfortable position. Um, it is often said that the best result of meditation occurs when sitting upright with a natural and neutral spine. Um, that said, I found great benefit in meditating in all sorts of positions. Um, but if you can, if this is available and comfortable to find an, an upright, sometimes we say a dignified position, seated firmly upon the earth, breathing easily and naturally, closing the eyes partially if that's comfortable or fully if that's comfortable. If, if your eyes remain open, perhaps a very soft gaze at a still point, perhaps sort of in a, in a downward direction. And as best you can in this moment, finding that breath, just noticing without changing it, tuning into it. Just noticing what happens in your body in this moment as you breathe in. And noticing what happens in your body in this moment as you breathe out. As we continue, you may become aware of thoughts or sounds or other distractions and just noticing those when they arrive. Acknowledging them and bringing yourself back over and over again to wherever we are in the meditation. that act of bringing our minds back, that is meditation. At, at any point, if there is a, an invitation or a, a direction that I offer that doesn't work for you for whatever reason, please just alter it for something that does work for you in this moment. And if you like, very, very gently inviting in gratitude, perhaps thinking of three things that you're grateful for in this moment. Opening the heart, filling the heart with thankfulness, gratitude. And identifying very gently, just inviting them in three things for which you are grateful. and allowing that gratitude to permeate your entire being. Letting gratitude absorb into every cell of your body. Deeply, deeply grateful for these amazing gifts. And if you like, bringing that gratitude even deeper by using a form of self-touch. So allowing your hand to land at a place on your body that is comforting and soothing. That could be your lap or your knees or shoulder or stomach or side. 
for many of us, the first thing that comes to us is our heart. But whatever works for you, and you could place one or two hands in the same spot, or they could be in two different positions, and noticing what that physical adjustment does to your body. You might notice the gentle pressure, or you might notice temperature variations. And using this as an anchor, both of gratitude and self-compassion or self-love. A reminder that no matter the circumstances, we are always here for and with ourselves. And if it's comfortable, you might leave your hand or hands in this place or at any time, return your hands to a more neutral position and you can always return to this. Touch point, this reminder of deep presence for and with ourselves and great gratitude for all the gifts that are bestowed upon us. And as best you can, maintaining that at some place in your being and also just very, very gently acknowledging what you've been through the past two weeks or so. Maintaining self-presence, self-love and gratitude and gently acknowledging all that you've been through. Emotions, thoughts, activities. Just very, very gently validating that that has been, that has occurred. And joining self-compassion, self-love and gratitude with all that we have collectively and individually experienced these past few weeks. Embracing the, the great paradox of suffering and compassion and presence and endurance and resilience. in the great mystery and complexity of life. So it's as though we're witnessing for ourselves and bringing great compassion, just as we would to a dear beloved friend or family member who has endured a hardship, offering our presence to ourselves offering our compassion, our sympathy, our presence, our deep understanding, our support. And so it is. And yes, this too. And bearing great witness and great compassion for all that we have been through. Reminding yourself that you are here for yourself. I am here for me.
And now, given all that, inviting in your mind, soothing words or phrases, I've offered a few already things like, I am here for me. What other words come to you? What would be soothing? What would be helpful to you in this time? It might be words such as, and this too shall pass. Or, I maintain connection with my beloved family and friends. Or I attend to my self care. Whatever words or phrases come to you and that meet your unique needs and circumstances at this time, offer those to yourself just as you would someone else that you love. I'm here for you. I am here with you. I exhibit radiant health. And when you're ready, and if this feels appropriate, shifting now to someone you adore, someone else that you love, someone whose presence makes you happy and glad and brings a smile to your face. And in your mind, offering such phrases to that person from what you know of them, any phrases that might be helpful to them, helpful to them or similar phrases perhaps that you were using to yourself just now. May you be well. May you be at peace. May you experience my deep presence and appreciation. May you experience my love. Whatever phrases occur to you that you might offer this dearly beloved friend or family member.
And then if you like offering similar phrases to other loved ones in, in a group, say your family and neighbors and perhaps your workmates, acquaintances, those in whatever communities you're involved with. So offering kind, supportive, loving statements to various communities. May you be loved. May you exhibit radiant health. May you remain deeply connected to yourself and others. May you know peace. Other words and phrases that you'd like to offer these family members, neighbors, workmates. Other communities you're involved with. Offering them peace, love, and support in your mind, using specific phrases. Whatever comes to you. May you know you are loved. May you be healed. May you know joy. And once again, if you like, expanding the circle even further to include all of humanity, all of our relatives around the world, known and unknown, seen and unseen. May all beings know freedom from suffering. May all beings be free. May all beings experience radiant health. May all beings Practice exquisite self-care. May all beings remain deeply connected.
And once again, the invitation is to add in your own mind, your own words and phrases. Offering those to all of humanity throughout the entire world. And when you're ready, shifting back to the self for a few more moments, offering yourself again some soothing words or phrases, seeing if those perhaps have shifted a bit now that we've offered them to others. What might we offer ourselves in this moment? Perhaps returning your hand to that touch place on your body that represents deep self-care and self-love. As you repeat in your own mind, a few words and phrases of assurance and love. Self-compassion. And letting all of that gently go, kind of dissolving like an ice cube on a beach. The warm sun just melts away. Returning to the breath. A few full cycles in and out. When you're ready, allowing the chin to gently drop toward the chest. <clears throat> 